Patrick did his part. Now you have to do yours. I mean, how many people actually get engaged with a real piece of hardware? I know that I was only half kidding until Maxie found the real one, but I believe in the symbol. Jason, I believe in the words that you said to me when you asked me to spend the rest of my life with you. You have to wake up. You have to wake up so we can spend the rest of our lives together. While you were in surgery, I came back here and I climbed into your bed. And I actually went through my phone and I wish you could see these pictures because they were from when we were in Hawaii. And we were really happy there. I was thinking that we could probably spend our honeymoon there. I actually started fantasizing about it, Jason. You know, we, we decided that you should have this surgery so we could get married on September 23rd, but... I, re I really don't care if we have to postpone that. I mean, I don't, I don't care if we, if we have to cancel, even. None of that matters right now, Jason. I just want you. I just want you to wake up. Hey. Hey. Um. um I'll be right out, okay? say well the operation was a success well it's great right yeah it's great and Patrick was able to remove the um, particle that was stuck in Jason's brain but it's been inside him all these years yeah I know it was a piece of AJ's dashboard oh, that's so weird you know he woke up a completely different person I'm not saying that that's gonna happen yeah we're, we're not gonna know anything until Jason wakes up when he does he's going to be completely fine. You know, the person that he was, is the man that you love. And you guys are going to have a beautiful wedding just yeah. like you planned. And I, I really don't want to talk about any of that right now. What's going to happen? You guys have come so far, overcome so much. I mean, think about all the people who have tried to stop you. I mean, including mom. She's been so dead set against you and Jason taking the step. I mean, she even had you second-guessing what you felt in your heart. It's the same with me and Ethan. Everyone's been giving him no, a no, hard time. No, 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 no. It, it, it is not the same. Jason and I are in love. We're, we're going to get married. We're committed. That's different. Ethan and I have a connection. He tells me things that he can't tell anyone else. He understands me like I understand him. And people have just been getting in the way and trying to push us apart, and it, it's working. I mean, I saw him today, and he was openly flirting with Skye. With Ethan and Sky have a lot more in common. She's about a hundred years older than him. Plus, she's his father's old girlfriend. He was pretending for my benefit. The same way that he was pretending with Abby. He was just trying to, you know, make something up about him and Sky being together. I mean, why would he go to all that trouble if he really didn't care about me? So just how well. Good guy. He's trying to help you, but he. He doesn't like you like that. I think you're putting him in the same position that you put Johnny in. Well, it isn't the same at all. No, Christina, it kind of is the same. It's somebody who you like that really doesn't like you back, and actually, they almost died for it. Your father tried to kill Ethan, too. Everything that happens to me goes back to Dad. That's why I can't be with any guy, because of what he's done. People are scared. 
That's not true, Christina. Hey! Uh, I need to see Morgan. Jason's not awake. I, I, I don't know what you've heard. Yeah, Dollface told me. Cancer. No. Dr. Rodriguez called not cancer. Dr. Lucia Rodriguez called me. Ryan stars. His noggin, right? Yeah. Yeah, he was in a, a car accident years ago. They had to operate. Yeah, right. Open the hood, change the make and model. Everybody wants to change us, me, Morgan. Spinelli, you should, you should probably go home and get some sleep. I need to see Morgan. I'm sorry, you are his friend. He would probably want to hear from you. Sleep. Drifting and dreaming, swinging on a star. Maybe. Maybe not coming back. So, what happens then? What happens when we don't come back? So, another day, another dance with danger, eh? Sooner or later, it all ends in a Chicago overcoat. Ashes to ashes, dust. Dames, they... They don't know what it is, you know? It's you and me. You there, me. Here, facing the facts. Watching some guy's time leak out. Somebody facing the big. Sleep. Yeah. That's all it is. It's like. Like you're asleep. Like it's gonna be like it was. So no big deal. No. No goodbyes. Oh, there's something in my eye. <laughs> Moonlight, maybe, me memories, things I used to have. <sighs> Just sometimes out of reach, you know? Bright. But out of reach like stars. <sighs> and all the cold, dark, Blank stuff between them. I can't do it. I can't have any more blank spots than I already have. No more loss. No more holes. No more death. I will reach out and drag you back if I have to. So grab hold. Hold of what was. Because I can't let go. I can't lose you. Stone cold. Anything, any news? What? Um, well, Jason has not woken up yet. Um, someone's in there with him now. Have you had anything to eat? No, no, I I'm, I'm fine. But how are you, hmm? I really want Jason to wake up. My Jason. You know, the man that I, I know loves me, and I'm just... I'm really scared that he's gonna wake up and he's not gonna know me or love me. Stone Cold. How many times have I called you that? It's a, it's his name is familiar to me. It... Blank stuff again. It's like 
me. Ah, float, floating. Floating like I've been watching everything from outside of my own body, my own mind. But since when? Hospital. Hostages. Nihilistic Dr. Niles holding court, holding... holding a gun. Pointing it at my Maximista. Oh, God. Oh, no. I, I couldn't bear the thought of losing her. I couldn't. I can't bear this. Stone Cold. Master. Gra grasshopper. Mentor. Dear. Dear friend. The thought of losing you is too much for me to bear. For any of us. So. Don't go. trace of himself or, or who he was. And I'm wondering if he'll ever come back. Jason. 